Okay, I'm waiting to see if anybody comes in. <clears throat> see, Nidity is making my hair curl. Look at my kitty cat earrings. Can you see those? Aren't they cute? And they have my kitty cat earrings. So, just sitting here waiting. If anybody's here, say hi. Hi. So right quick, I'm going to show uh, some uh, earrings that I got. Hi, Francis. So I hit the uh, Veterans Thrift Town today. I spent $7. I got this pair of earrings. They were a dollar and then a bag for $6. So, um, and these are clip-on earrings, and they have a special clip here in the back. They're not signed. They're not magnetic, but I do not believe they're gold. So, anyway, and then I'm going to just show you a few other pieces I bought today. I got this. It was 50 cents at, and it's hard to see. It's just a charm. It's rhinestone lips. It's a charm, and I got it at the flea market where I have a booth, and I got this brooch that is a pin. The um, earrings, you bet. Hi, Veronica. How are you? Okay. Here you go. They are little half hoops. They have that comfort clip. Uh, they, it should have a rubber gasket in it, but just a little, little hoop. Kind of flared. Has a little bit of a curve. So, anyway, but they are non-magnetic. I don't think they're gold. Um... I haven't tested. So, anyway, I'll probably test everything for a while. So, hey, Veronica, welcome. So, they are, they're really nice. So, I think when y'all come in, I was shown my cat. So, you can see that this little enamel kitty cat on a fish hook. I like them, they're interesting. So, I, uh, I like dangly earrings. So, and I like kitty cats. So, anyway. So, then I got this little brooch. And it was a dollar. And uh, that's just little black pieces. My phone just whistled at me. And I left it in the other room when I ran to get dinner. So, anyway. But it has no signature. Um, it will go in a lot. And I'm going to explain to you guys. I've got a new ideal. And it's not like a new ideal. I've done some before. I have done some lots. But I'm fixing to do some bargain lots. So, uh, anyway, check this out. Can you see it? It is, I don't know, the, the light may there. That might help. It's a peacock. And uh, clear rhinestone, green enamel. Very pretty. It's not signed. Uh, I got that down at the flea market where I have two booths. And um, anyway, so far, uh, this is a trade-off thing. We trade things all the time. And so she's like, I'm not worried about it. You'll, you'll have something I want. So I love the peacock. And then this little kitty cat, I got it too. I thought it was kind of cool. So anyway, and it's not signed either. So. And this brooch right here is, um, I'm going to actually sell this for my friend down there. Uh, it is Les Bernard, and it has an original old tag of $42 on it. And I can't tell what the name of the store was that it came from. almost looks like, I don't know what it says, but anyway... But it has an, an original $42 tag. Let's see. You can see $42. Then it got marked down all the way down to $9.99. So, anyhow, but uh, it, it is vintage. Les Bernard, I don't think he's done jewelry for a while. I don't think that company's been in, in business for a while. I looked it up the other day. So, anyhow, so. But I'm going to list that for her. So, I want to show you all this bag I got today. And uh, I'll. I'm going to start off with the reason I bought the bag. 
And the reason I bought the bag was this bangle right here. And it is misshapen. And I don't know if that is how it's supposed to be or if somebody if somebody heated it up trying to test it for something and it's like that i was hoping it was bakelite it is not bakelite so i tested it with semichrome it is not bakelite so i was hoping it was it will go in a lot so this lot this box of jewelry turned out to be and i have not gone through this little bag of things i think it's mainly broken things so we might peek in it, but I think most of it's just broken stuff is beads and stuff. And look, isn't that beautiful? The longer you know me, hi Debs, how are you? You'll know that I love bling. And so it is so pretty. And they're both here, but one of them is broke. And I've looked at it and I don't think I can fix it. Do not believe I can fix it. It's broke. The links are broke. The little chain link here is broke. So it would have to be soldered back on, and I don't solder. So anyway, that makes me sad. I'll probably keep it to harvest the rhinestones because they're awfully pretty. So I'll show you what I call the, actually, <laughs> I, I call it the Charm and Charlie jewelry, but it's actually the Charm and Charlie jewelry. So yeah hi nikki how are you uh this is just a little plastic pendant and it's got these kind of things on the end does anybody know what those are what are those are they for eyeglasses i don't know i find these all the time happy fourth yes does anybody know what those are are they for eyeglasses i don't know so anyway but then there's this this piece and it's um is it the one yeah it has the charm and charlie c on it and it is really pretty the colors are pretty it will go in a lot when you when y'all see when you see what i've got in this mess you're going to understand why um why everybody should be shocked that i bought this so because y'all all know if you've watched me okay and then this this piece here it does not have charm and charlie but i call it charm and charlie style anyway and it keeps wanting to come off it it attaches up here and it keeps wanting to come off i've attached it once so i'll have to reattach it and make sure it's put in good it's really pretty and it does have matching earrings and it's an easy fit so it'll go in a lot so yeah. Oh, they do do they? So is this not cute? How patriotic is that? It's Fourth of July. It's one of those little necktie necklaces, but it's missing some beads because that's not big enough to go uh, all the way around. They slide over a button and then you pull it down. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 like on a, a collar button. I got it. I got it. So, okay, I, I, I see what you mean. Okay. So, anyway, is that not cute? Very patriotic. So, I'm thinking uh, a, a chain could be attached. Ooh, ooh, big lightning. Y'all, if I disappear, it's because of the storm. It's lightning and thundering out there, but it's not close so anyway thanks Debs. i did not know what that was so anyway so and then these i haven't even opened this um but they're glass beads and i can tell they're glass beads by the weight of that but y'all i have an issue with feathers i do not do feathers uh, every time I get feathers, they go straight into a lot or they go straight down to the flea market boots. I don't like feathers. I don't like touching them. Nope, not feathers. I am not a feather gal. So, now, are these not atrocious? I'm sorry. They're really ugly. They're going probably in the garbage because they're in real bad 
shape and somebody's glued them on hot glued and that's velvet oh well, your kitty cat loves feathers um yeah those are atrocious and then there were two of these things and i don't know what they are no clue and this and it had nothing on the back of it and this was a really pretty earring but i don't know what was in it <laughs> uh maybe that no not that because that's too big so and then a pair of J japanese made these beaded but one of them is the inside of it's coming out so so oh wait here's two more pieces of jewelry uh, yeah. a few more pieces of jewelry one of these um wire uh multi-strand beaded bracelets and that one's got some sheen to it some uh, iridescent sheen to it so that's kind of cool so anyway and a bead wood bead necklace with um, a barrel clasp so <clears throat> And I thought these might be Bakelite, just these uh, individual beads in them, but they're not. But it's really cool. So, anyway, very cool. Uh, kind of, it reminds me kind of the of the uh, 70s and 80s, these beads. And they're glass beads. Yeah, I should have just known that they were not Bakelite because they're glass. So... Oh, uh, well, I've done been, been doing pretty good. I hit, Nikki, I hit the 20-pound mark that I've lost 20 pounds in the past month. Uh, I am trying real hard not to weigh every day. So, really, really, really. Very 60s even, yeah. And I love this. It's a Closinet look. And I, I think, you no, know, is it Closinet? Yeah, Closinet. Closinet look, and um, it's so pretty. That is really pretty. So, anyway, but, uh, uh, so, and then a rubber bracelet. So, anyhow, so, let's go. Y'all know, if, if anybody, uh, let's see, let's see if anybody can answer this, because most of y'all have been around me. If any of you, if I ask y'all, what kind of jewelry do I really not like, what would you say? I'm gonna wait, see what y'all put in the put in the replies. What kind of jewelry do you think I really, really don't like? Because I've said many times that I don't like this kind of jewelry. So, well, besides feathers, I just told y'all that while ago. I do love silver, but it's something that you wear on your wrist. I don't like watches. I do love bling. The blingier, the better. But I do not like watches. I don't like to sell them. I don't like to deal with them. I don't like watches. And when you see how many watches were in this bag, that is so funny. It is so funny. So, uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm looking because some of these little faces are so teeny tiny. I've looked at all the names on them. And there are some good names in these. Um, this one really pretty it has blue it's Ann Klein it's a nice looking watch so I don't I don't list them for sale in fact once Margaret and them get settled I'm going to box up some watches and send to James because James loves watches so this one here is in it was in a bag and so I saved it to look at last the Ann Klein watch you have it Francis or the one that was in the bag well this one in the bag so says Rolex now Rolex I had it upside down Rolex uh, hi Bushy bear hi April how are you uh, I know this is not a Rolex I mean it's a heavy-duty watch but it's not a Rolex so I thought this would be a wonderful, fun watch for James to take apart. So I am going to uh, send that one definitely to Margaret so James can look at it. This one here, I think it probably does a lot of cool stuff. It's an Armatron. 
and it has batteries in it and when you push all the buttons on its side it does all this stuff I just don't know how to operate it so I may look it up and see what all it actually does and see if I can learn some more about it I may want to keep it it may be something I want I don't wear watches oh this was cute it's a little pin back it's a little it says Stephanie and it's from 1984 Cheryl's Cosmetics Fullerton California so yes my husband does wear a watch in fact I've already given him a watch out of this that was a chronotron that um, winds that is a winding watch so this one here says infinity and this is kind of cool I think it would probably sell um, it's a little worn but it's it's got these stud things on it but the face of it's really pretty really really pretty and it's unreal how many watches I have because my sister-in-law gives me a lot of watches this one here was is has a real interesting face yeah thank you for the thumbs up thank you bougie bear so um oh this one here says hill time jeweler jewels jeweled h-i-l-t-i-m-e jeweled and then it says anti-magnetic and it has a really interesting face because it's got it's like the inside of the inside of the this the crystal is like faceted and so it's like in diamond patterns and so it makes it really hard to see inside of it but it's nice it it it's a stretchy watch so it I'm sure it is old and now it, if it winds it's been wound too tight so anyway but um now talking about bling look at that that is enough bling for anybody and it says Jennifer no Jessica Carlisle never heard of Jessica Carlisle anybody heard of Jessica Carlisle I do too I like that it's a it's like a glitter finish but when you brush it the glitter doesn't come off on you so so yeah I have a big wrist too but it yeah it's too big for my wrist so anyway that's really cute though isn't it so this one here is a really nice watch but the watch band is in real bad shape but there is a watch band a brand new watch band from Speedle originally sold at Walmart for 11.62 so anyway uh pulsar that says pulsar i've heard the name pulsar but i'm thinking that pulsar is um uh, uh gigi spidal spidal is that spidal is that what, what we're trying to say instead of beetle so here this one had a really cool name on it too oh i remember this one said via nova V V I A N O V A Via Nova. There's a Bolivar in here too. Via Nova. There is Spidal. Okay. Let's see. This one here says A C Q U A Aqua. Aqua. It's a nice. It's a nice leather. So. Oh my gosh, I'm not I've not even started. This one here is it says diamond quartz and it's dirty. I've been trying to clean it. I need to get a baby wipe out and clean it good. It has a little diamond chip up there and then this says quartz. It has a nice band on it. So Bolivar. And it says it has the date. But on the back of it, it says Japanese movement. And what else did it say? It said stainless steel back, Bolivar quartz, T9 base metal bezel, stainless steel back, Japanese movement. So, what do you think a ball of a Japanese movement watch would sell for? 
this one here is oh uh, this one says fossil on it pink $85 seriously $85 I have a bowl of a watch in my in my personal jewelry box that is a um, it's an award watch from 3m for it was awarded to somebody for uh, um, it was awarded to somebody for I think 25 years of service in their in the 3m company and uh, I found it at a thrift store years and years and years ago I've had it well actually I've had it more than 10 years okay huh okay this is weird to me because this has two two buckles two buckles fasteners it has that little angel scene on it and on the back of it it says baby watch huh. I find that really odd baby watch anyway it don't have a name or anything but it says baby watch on it so here is another just the face of one hi Mila it is good to have you here so we're going through a bunch of watches I got a bunch of watches this is Milan M-I-L-A-N and it's a men's face um, I didn't try to see if it sets or wines let's see that one that my husband I set it and wound it and it's running nope I don't hear the ocean I know I'm a smart aleck okay this is another one really nice one and what does it say it says you've got a sticker on the back of your thing oh this one this one it says Coat D Azure C O T E D apostrophe A Z U R. Isn't that a perfume brand? This uh the Bolova, are we talking about the Bolova? Is the Bolova or the fossil? The fossil is is but isn't C O T D A Z U R isn't that a perfume brand? I was thinking that was a perfume brand. Or a makeup brand I'm thinking it's a makeup brand anyway it's a really pretty this is gold the um, fossil watch is silver with a pink face and the bowl of it is a C O T E the letter D lowercase with an apostrophe and then uppercase a Z U R This might help. Only that should have been apostrophe instead of parentheses. And the uh, Bolova is gold with a white face and gold letters. So, anyway. So, oh, there's another watch. <laughs> another watch. And this one here is a... Oh, Studio Y. So, Studio Y. So, anyhow, and this was a, oh, I, this was real interesting to me because um, I've never seen a tag like this. Okay. First of all, there's three strands here. It has, it has a star, April. It has a star that slides down over these three strands strands but it has a tag that says a e r o and i know that a e r o is well i know that a e is american eagle but a e r o arrow and then it says 1987 a e r o and then 1987 usually sold in sets with men's wallets oh posh has one for 45 okay so anyway so a lot of the watches that I had today could probably sell for 25 
to forty dollars, twenty to forty dollars. So, too bad I don't like watches, huh? Anyway, well, that, oh no, I was gonna say that's all of it, but it's not. And look here. Okay, this little this little watch that I said had the dirty face. It's still got its plastic backing on it. It's never even been done away, done off of. So, so what about this HIL? Let me let me top it out. H I L T I M E. I've never seen that, and I'm looking to see what it says here on the bottom. And then it says anti-magnetic. So you'd, you'd sell them. See, I don't like selling watches. <laughs> and it ain't even about putting the batteries in. I put batteries in watches all the time and take them down to my to my booth. I seriously, I mean, I, I know for a fact that I have over 100 watches here. Easily, if not more, if not even 150. I just, first of all, I had a... I was doing a video where I had showed, I had a box of watches, um, one of those six, uh, four by six uh, e -box, eBay boxes, you know what, like that you get when you can order your supplies. So I had a box of watches, had that full, and there was like 40 watches in it, and I had taken it to my flea market booth and had put like $10 on it. And so I was talking about it. And uh, a lady watching said she wanted to buy them, wanted to know if I'd go get them and she could buy them. And I said, sure. And then she didn't buy them. So anyway, in fact, I don't even think I've seen that lady make videos anymore. But anyhow, so, um, uh, so, okay. Of the ones that you would try to sell. Okay. I'm thinking the fossil. I would try to sell it. Of course, the Bolova, the Ancline. Uh, let's see. What is this one? That Cope d'Azur. What about what about the uh, Via Nova? I mean, it's it's really blingy. But and I'll have to work on the band. Some kid wrote on it, but it's really cool looking. So I mean. As far as watches go, it looks pretty cool. So, um, the Pulsar. This one here, I think, would sell just because it's pretty. But, so, but can I get into it to replace the battery? See this, um, and it's called Jessica Carlisle. Try them on eBay. Jessica Carlisle. It, uh, um. Is quartz movement. I don't know that I can get in it to replace the battery. So, anyway, I don't know. I don't know, girls. I'm, I'm all up in the air about that. But this Armatron one, I think it would probably sell. But definitely, I think that I should send this, this one, this Rolex, and maybe even, I didn't, that ACQUA, that, that looks like a really nice quality watch. And probably this Milan one to uh, James to take apart. So, anyway, without. Okay. So, I have a new idea. And believe me when I say, I mean, it's not like original, but I'm not stealing it from, I don't think I'm stealing it from anybody. But I'm thinking I'm going to start doing this. Y'all, I have so much jewelry. It is unreal. So I think I'm going to start doing something like this. I think I'm going to start. Why do I think the Rolex is fake? Uh, because most of the time they are fake. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I've never seen a Rolex that wasn't fake. And I, oh, here it is. Why do I think it's fake? Oh, here, I'll tell you one of the reasons I think the Rolex is fake. There's nothing on the back of it. Nothing. Zilch. No writing. Nothing on the back of it. Shouldn't there be writing on the back of a Rolex? 
I know nothing about Rolexes. I mean, I know nothing about watches, period. So I'm thinking there should be writing back here. So let's find the little. I'm looking to pop it open. The back doesn't say anything. It has nothing on it. It's completely blank, Nikki. See? Zilch. Nada. Nothing. On the outside of it, nothing. So. Anyway, I think it would be super cool for a kid like Margaret James, who is so into watches and so inquisitive. I think it would be super cool for him to take part, look and see how it works, and uh, do something with. So, anyhow, so, let's see here. Oh, isn't that cute? Look at that little earring. This is in the little bag of Dibby Dibs that was in that bag. So, anyway, I paid $6 for this bag. There's a lot of little beady things in here. But I don't see anything that's a matching set of any kind. I just see a lot of broken beads. So I will check them to see. Actually, I'll put them in my magnet. I'll put my magnet in this bag and see. Do y'all use the rare, rare earth? Can you label knockoffs as fashion? No, it, it's, it's illegal to sell stuff like that. So, uh, you can lose your eBay account selling crap like that. So, some of that's not picking up. So, I'll have to check and see if some of those have silver marks. I have a dude that he, he does silver for meltdown. So, he'll take anything that's like that off my hands. So, anyway. And I think, oh, that is just as magnetic as it can be. Do you use the... Rare Earth Magnets. I bought a nine pack. I have, still have. Th this, that's three of them that I've not opened and taken their things off. And then I've got two stuck together. And I can't get them apart. I mean, like, seriously, cannot get them apart. And I have a screen over there I stick them to. So, but uh, uh, this Ann Klein one, I think the Ann Klein one probably would sell. I mean, it's not probably not going to bring big money. But I think I probably could get... $19.99, so, yeah, see, I just, just don't, don't like that, so, anyway, I don't like trying to sell fake, so, my ideal, I keep getting sidetracked, my ideal is, I'm fixing to start making bargain lots, because I have so much stuff, and I'm thinking I'm going to put them on my Etsy shop, I'm thinking, but I probably will end up putting them on eBay because I I'd rather put everything on on eBay uh, and uh, I I just like eBay better anyway. But I'm going to put 20 items in a box. I'm going to put four necklaces, four bracelets, four pairs of earrings, and four brooches in a box. So that'll be 20. Oh, did I say four necklaces, four pairs of earrings, four brooches, four bracelets? That's only 16. Uh, there was something else. Necklaces, earrings, brooches, bracelets. Maybe even four watches. Four watches. I've got enough. I could put four watches in each box. So, anyway, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to list them on eBay for $15. They will have... Um, Signed jewelry, and they will have unsigned jewelry. Some of it may be vintage, and some of it might not be. Uh, but I won't put crap in there. Uh, there won't be no no beads, and I'm going to take pictures of them. Uh, right, bargain lots. I'm going to. That's what I'm going to call them, bargain boxes. And uh, um, anyway, and I that is actually my plan is to start taking pictures tonight. Yeah, it doesn't have to be vintage. So I have so much stuff and I have some nice things, some really nice things, but I have, if I don't get some of this stuff out of here, I'm going to go nuts right now. I literally cannot move anything. Now, some of these aren't watches here. They're nice enough that I wouldn't put them in. I'll, I'll hold on to them. So, 
but uh, uh, like this set, this would be a nice necklace to go in a bargain lot. Uh, anyway, um, I wish that I knew somebody that could look at look at this. This is old. It's it's it came out of my vintage rhinestone stuff. I, I kind of hoard this, but look, it's missing its little thingamabob that makes it close and it makes me sad. And I'm thinking, how can I fix that? I've been studying on it and it is even signed. Let me see. It even has a name on it. And that's probably the first time I've ever noticed that it has a name on it. Oh, it's Weiss. Huh? Weiss. And here's the sad thing. Okay, or maybe this is the addictive thing. I keep buying. I seriously, I seriously keep buying, and I'm fixing to do some freaking craft lots too. I've got so much stuff that can be used for craft, like this here. It would be real, not real cool. Oh, I have some magnetic clasp here. I do. Watch is nice. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, speaking of watches. This has been laying in my, this here's been laying in my tray over here for mm, how long? Okay. For quite a while. Okay. It's a uh, rhodium plated bezel, stainless steel back, and it is a Timex, and it is a wine watch. It winds. You wind it. And it's old. I know it's old. And I know they, the girls, all, all of the girls own. And it has the coolest way to close, too. It has this, see this thing here? Oh, my gosh. It took me forever to figure it out. But this little T slides in here, and it, it's just really cool. Everybody said I should list it for $70 to $80. I'm just like, I can't imagine but if y'all if you know me if you know me you know that like when carlos talks about selling have you ever been have any of y'all ever been to no it's not goldfield it's just an old time it's uh it's actually real old have you ever been to carlos's store oh my gosh he has beautiful beautiful jewelry in his store and he also has things in there that are very very expensive and uh, the thought of selling things expensively I sold uh, uh, two let's see two weekends ago I sold a necklace for $70 that's the most I've ever sold a piece of jewelry for excluding what I done today that if you're in the group you know you, you saw that and I don't want to talk about it here on Facebook on YouTube but but that that to me that's different so no no they've not put it up yet they've not put it up yet so uh, she was going to she's going to record it and then edit it and all that so uh, I don't know if they've recorded it yet I haven't talked to her or or Carlos about it but anyway so okay Carlos doesn't have a YouTube. He has a, Carlos is a member of our, our uh, Texas Lover Jewelries group, and he has a, um, he, he sells on eBay, and he sells beautiful sterling silver and Native American jewelry, and uh, I mean, gorgeous. Anyway, um, his price is just like, uh, it would freak me out. That $70 necklace freaked me out. I waited until that lady left me feedback, good feedback, before I even moved the money. Yeah, that is Texas Gal Treasure. Uh, Texas Gal Treasures. Um, we have a jewelry group. I'm one of the admins over there. Uh, cool. I have a ring. Anyway, but Carlos is part of our group. But but uh, uh, I can't even remember now what, what the name of his... Uh, his eBay store is called, but oh my lord! It's if you're in the group, you can go to the 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 link store links and find his. Um, I can't I can't remember what it's I 
can't remember what it's called, junk, what Carlos's store is called. Hi, Junk Lady. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, I, I'm sorry. I, I do not remember. So, but uh, uh, anyhow, so before I go, I want to know because I'm doing this on, uh, yeah, what is the name of Carlos's store? I can't, I can't remember. I want to do this. I did this on the last video. So if you have a YouTube channel, say yes that you do. So I can put in my description, I'm going to put a link to everybody's YouTube channel that is here tonight and give y'all a shout out because I want, I want everybody to, to watch all my friends. So uh, what is the name of Carlos's store? You're going to look. Are you going to look, Francis? So I know Nikki's World has one. Junk Lady, do you have a YouTube channel where you do videos? I know that um, Bougie Bear has one. Mila, do you do videos? Uh, Francis doesn't do. Veronica, do you do videos? And Debs, yes, you do videos. I know Debs does. So, uh, okay, guys, I'm, I'll do a shout out on my description for you guys. Um, and, uh, okay, Milo doesn't, Veronica doesn't, I do, but I'm not on it if I want to make more videos. Well, I know you have a few videos there. You need to make some more videos. So, anyway, but, uh, uh see what the humidity does. We had storms. The temperature has dropped drastically here. So, so anyway, hey, Debs. Do you still want this? I don't mind hanging on to it until, uh, but I just need to know if you still wanted this because uh, we had talked about this Sunday evening. So it's that uh, turquoise anklet. So anyway, let me know. I've I've included I've started including my email address on all of my videos so that anybody that wants to email me can email me. So that's okay. I, I have no. I forget, listen, sometimes I forget a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of things. Okay. So that little, that little flip drives me nuts. So I have just enough wave in my hair to make it weird. So anyway, but, uh, anyhow, I, uh, um, I am continuing, um, just, this is off topic of jewelry, but I am continuing on my keto journey. Um, I have lost 20 pounds. I have found that I've gotten, uh, to the point where that when I do eat carbs, they make me sick. If I eat too many, if I eat more than 20, I have found that, um, there's some great snacks to be made quite easily for keto. So, uh, Anyway, um, oh, you have connection to Russian viewers. Are you from Russia, Mila? So, so um, that's 20 pounds in a month. So uh, I have a long ways to go, but uh, Octavia, I don't know what that is. That's fine, Debs. That's fine. So cool. I'm proud for you, April. Listen, I have literally battled my weight all my life. Um, a video on shake snacks. I'll make a video on snacks. I will. I will. I'll tell you right now, Nikki's World, one of the best snacks that I make that is low carb is um, Russian Canadian. Cool. Is um, heavy whipping cream. I whip it put artificial sweetener, which I'm not artificial sweetener, stevia. I use stevia, put stevia in it. And I also, then I add a little cocoa to it and then I freeze it. So anyway, so I'm down to 310 pounds now. So, so anyway, so I am very, very happy. Uh, my goal is by the end of summer to hit under 300 I haven't been under the, I haven't been under 300 pounds. When my son died nine years ago, I was doing Weight Watchers and had lost like 50 pounds, between 50 and 55 pounds. 
And so I was right at 300 pounds when he died. And then after he died, I could have cared less about what I ate or whatever. And so I went back up and I went all the way back up to 353 pounds. And so over the last few years, I had been calorie counting. So I was down to right around 330 when I started this. Uh, on May the 28th is when I started. So um, 310. Yeah. So anyway, but uh, um, I am... Uh, but I'm only five, two and a half. So I am a short package. Oh, you're, see, you're young. I, I will be 53 years old in less than, um, well, less than two months. My birthday's in August. So anyway, so I, it's time to feel better. Thank you, Mila. Um, it, he, he died quite tragically. He was only 14, but, uh, a lot has happened since then. A lot has transpired. And if you watch, if you watch any of my videos, if you'll go back and watch my videos, there is a video where I talk about my last uh, two two years because two two years ago my husband fell dead in his barber shop, but they revived him, and so we've had a quite a journey. So that's just putting it mildly. So anyway, so he's now disabled and. And uh, uh, so, yeah, life hasn't been easy, but you know what? I have good friends. I have strong faith, and it carries me. So that's all I can say. So anyway, so I'm going to say good night because I'm hitting nearly the 50, 50 uh, uh, minute mark. But uh, uh, yeah, so oh, prednisone. Prednisone is really hard. My mother, my mother-in-law had to take prednisone for a long time. So, yep, you do. You know what, Bougie Bear? You keep on keeping on because it's too hard to quit. Quitting is, I mean, it's just, to me, it's too hard to quit because quitting means I give up on everything. I give up on me. I give up on my husband. I give up on God. And that's that's just not going to happen. So anyway, so and I still have I still have a son who is 25 that still needs me. So, well, thank you, Mila. Thank you for following me, for being here. And I am glad to have you as a friend. So, wow. Lupus is something that a lot of people have. You know, when I was a kid, you didn't hear a lot about lupus. And now a lot of people have lupus or other autoimmune so anyway so you guys have a happy fourth stay safe enjoy your time off if you're if you're off work and just have a wonderful fourth of july and thanks for everybody here and watch for the uh, description because after i get off of this i'm going to add my friends that do videos so thanks a lot i appreciate you all you guys have a wonderful evening Bye bye